Earlier this year, we aired a story about a very distinguished military medal, the Purple Heart, which was found by a local man decades ago. Yeah, and our hope was to find the rightful owner. Well, this morning in an 11 News follow up, a Baltimore woman receives a gift 62 years in the making. And as reporter Carrie Cavanaugh explains, her family calls it a Christmas miracle. Private First Class William Powell's family received this telegram on December 29, 1952, informing them that he had been killed in the Korean War. But all these years, they never knew that he had earned a Purple Heart until a viewer found this in the trunk of a car destined for the scrapyard. This belongs to you. Sometimes the best gifts come in humble packages. This is a Purple Heart, and his name is engraved. This is the first time Gwendolyn Smith is holding the Purple Heart that her father earned back in 1952. She was 10 months old when he died in the Korean War, and while she has no memories of him, her aunt, Mary Powell, is still grieving the loss of her only brother. It's a long time closure. I guess for her, it's finally realizing that you've come full circle. It makes me sad, very sad. It's been a long time. The Purple Heart, this bronze medal, a telegram death notice, and these pictures had been sitting in a box in Sam Bro's attic since the 80s. The former auto salvage worker says they turned up in a car that was towed to his Pikesville auto body shop. He put it all aside to save it from the scrapyard and rediscovered the trove last May when he was cleaning out his attic. He called WBAL-TV to help find the rightful owners. I know I would appreciate somebody, uh, if my father had gotten a Purple Heart, I know I'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, if somebody had come about it and saw that I got it. Our original story sparked a search that led to Dillon, South Carolina, the city where Powell was born and is buried. We tracked down the cousin who signed for Powell's headstone back in 1952. He led us back to Powell's daughter and sister in Baltimore, both of whom are grateful to learn more about their loved one's distinguished service. For our generation and our kids to grow up, knowing that this is part of our history, that there was somebody in our history who did some good. As the family pours over their long-lost treasures, they quickly settle who will be in charge of keeping them safe now. She is the hierarchy, mm -hmm. so I think she should have it. Mm -hmm. And then she can will it back down to me. Mm -hmm. You think I'm going somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Gwendolyn says receiving this Purple Heart doesn't close the chapter for her. Instead, it's inspired her to seek out any surviving members of her father's battalion so she can learn more about his final battle. Reporting in Gwen Oak, I'm Carrie Cavanaugh, WBAL TV 11 News.